Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. But this contest is not a regular matchup, a battle of two top tens, two forces colliding, one team leaves here making a resounding statement. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Texas Longhorns taking on the number one team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Ducks will kick this away to start us off. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Longhorns offense trots out there to open this game. And there's the star running back jogging out of the field. He is trying to add to his huge highlight reel, Kirk. Chris, honestly, I don't think we've seen too many running backs who can duplicate what this guy can do on the field. He's got everything. Vision, speed, power. He can diagnose a defense in real time. We're really excited to see this kid play. And he's got his man open downfield. They've got him, but not before he makes a first down at the 41. Love the aggressive approach here by the play caller. First drive of the game, why not? Vertical passing game is on fire, picking up big gains. The Longhorns will crank up the tempo. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Here's the second down play. Gives it to the back. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Well, a quick short throw here, not able to convert for the first down. You'd love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance, but they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. For the Oregon Ducks offense, makes their way onto the field for their first possession. And with such a dangerous wide receiver on the field here, puts a lot of stress from the secondary. This strong safety Kirk, maybe not necessarily built as a great coverage guy, he's going to have to be big today. Yeah, he really is, Chris. He's known for his physicality. This safety's going to have to do a good job of cleaning up tackles, but also being an extra guy to play keep away. He's good at doing both, but this receiver has great ball skills and the ability to break away with speed. Going to be a unique matchup to follow. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. He pulls it in for a big gain. And an explosive gain moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 42. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Looking to pass, it's Gabriel. Gets made on the out route. And he's shoved out of bounds by the defense short of the first down marker. Anytime a quarterback and a receiver are in sync, you've got a chance to make a very successful play. Great job here by the offense. 
That completion makes it second and medium. Here's the snap, looking to throw. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. With some pre-snap movement, back in motion. Makes a quick catch. And they pick up the first out of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. Good job, they're finding the back and that angle route. The timing was perfect there. Yeah, effective third down play to be able to move the chains. I really like the cut there on the route by the running back, getting across the middle of the field. And like you said, the quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly to give the back a chance to not only catch the ball, but get the yards for the first down. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught near the goal line. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. But Chris, with this style of RPO, the quarterback has to do a really good job of staying on that ride with the running back to make sure that the defense is really up against the run before he can pull it out and throw the football. Here, it's a little further downfield, but the same result as far as the potential and the big gain coming off of an RPO. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together. They stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. Ball back at the six for second and goal off that loss. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. If you're going to throw the ball this close to your own goal line, you got to go to the quick game to get the ball out fast to give your quarterback a chance. Otherwise, consider running the football. Something different from sitting back and holding the ball and giving the defense a chance to come up with a big sack. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Running out of time in the pocket. And the pass rush has got him again back to back sacks. Man, that is how you prevent an offense from punching it in when they get inside the 10-yard line. That is back-to-back -back sacks for this defense near the goal line. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a 37-yard attempt. No problem. Knocks it right through. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. They'll return it from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Caught in the backfield. It's Golden. Gets some space around the 30. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. The Longhorns come to the line in the hurry up. Throw 
out left complete. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Any good offense has to have a reliable quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. The game makes it second and medium. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way to the 39. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. Longhorns line up on first and ten now. Ball handed off. Powers through. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. That wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. The game makes it second and medium. Well, somebody up there got a little too antsy at the line of scrimmage. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Second down after that previous play. Back to pass. It's yours. Off target with the throw. Incomplete. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. The pocket breaking down. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field on that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. Now it's fourth down and long. The Longhorns will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt will bounce out of bounds. Great execution that time. The offense in a tough spot to start the drive. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. The Ducks hustle to the line to run the hurry up. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Second down after that run on the previous play. Handoff here from the shotgun. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Third down after that running play. Can he get there on the ground? He shreds the tackle. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. They'll kick it away here. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? On first down, it's play action. Looking for the wideout. 
Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. So after the incompletion, it's second down. And now the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. To throw. It's yours. He's running out of time here. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. moves backwards so he's on to punt it away and the returner will be brought down so first play of the drive coming here they'll start at their own 49 now they're running on the toss defense makes the tackle with the clock running that'll probably be the final play of this first quarter so, Kirk, as we break for the quarter, Oregon has the lead here. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Getting set. Here's second down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Here's a wide-open receiver complete. Big gain across midfield. They'll spot it down near the 30. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, guy that can run it. Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws, and Justin Herbert. Of course, enough said we see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. We're still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. That completion makes it second and medium. To throw, it's Gabriel. Goes to the sideline, steps out after a short game. Well, it's a game of matchups. Always has been and it always will be, especially on the perimeter. And the quarterback believes his guy is better than their guy. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Grab down the middle. It's Stewart. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Well, the defense appeared to jump before the snap and the flag comes out. Penalty gives the offense coordinator a little bit more room to work with now. And the Ducks' offense is on the move now. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage.
crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Out of the gun now on third down. Bringing pressure. Well, he scrambled and scrambled. Doesn't get the ball away and is finally dropped for a sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. He was successful with his first attempt. This one is from 35 yards out. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. After the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. To the air. It's yours. And he'll just lob this pass into the middle of the field. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge game. Took his eye off the ball. Well, wow, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And he's brought down just short of the mark for him that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Longhorns will bring their punt team on the field now. Looking to flip the field here. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. Looking to build on this lead in this possession. Had to settle for three last time out. Throws a stiff arm. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Give it to the back again. That'll pick up first down yardage very near the 40. A nice job here by this back picking up the first down and living up to the legacy that they have in Eugene. There have been so many good backs. I mean, the list goes on and on, but right off the top of my head, you're going to start with Kenyon Barner and Michael James and throw in DeAnthony Thomas. What a golden era it was for the Oregon Ducks when it came to running backs, and they're still trying to live up to that to this day. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. The Ducks churn out another first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. The Ducks pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Looking for some space. It's James. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. 
Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Send the back in motion. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. With the catch, it's Johnson. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oregon. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And here's the return from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit, the swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Looks right for a quick completion. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. Boy, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Pre-snap motion from the offense. Keeping it on the ground here. The gain is four, so it's second and six. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down play coming up. Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Looking downfield, it's yours. Short pass finds the tight end. And the play is good enough for a first down to move the ball to 44. Blame the defense here of all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. you got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly, and he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Again, makes it second and medium. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Makes a quick grab. They bring him down just short of the marker inches away from a first down 
This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Back to throw again. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. That's a big game. The offense is threatening that. Spot the ball at the 22. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. The Longhorns will have first and 10 here. Trying to create here on the move. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure to allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. Longhorns are in the red zone now. Dropping back. It's yours. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Doesn't quite get there. The defense forcing him out at the three. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Texas. Chris, we're still early in this football game. We're in the second quarter. It's a critical touchdown to get their confidence to believe that they can come back and still win this game. Now the important point after attempt. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Turner trying to create good field position. The Turner brought down. Sets up the next drive. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. Let's see how the offense plays it here. Not much time remaining if they want to get a chunk play, put him in scoring position before the half. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Second down play coming up for this offense. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. They bring him down after a short game there. And now the offense will call a timeout. Some of the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Looking for a deep completion. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Ducks. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. When he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points.
And now here comes the point after attempt. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. And on the carry, he's heading left. Finds room at the 30. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. It's a first and 10 play. Looking downfield, it's yours. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. This will likely be the last play of the half. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And he lofts it toward the sideline. And he's got it down there inside the 35. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. So with only a few seconds left in the half, the field goal unit comes out of the field. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. The field goal is good. But hold on, there is a flag on the field, so let's check that out. The defensive penalty is declined. Offense very happy to take the result of that play. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, guys, thanks. Looks like we've had ourselves a very enjoyable first half so far. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who... Once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. The Turner looking to make a play here. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Trying to build in a positive first half for this offense to see if they can stretch the lead. There's some urgency on the part of the defense to stop the bleeding here. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what we saw right there. Now it's second down here. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Solid gain there. Moves the ball out to the 32. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with the ability to run, Remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. Off the play fake on first down. Pulls it in. It's James. He has first down yardage at the 46. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost and forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. And the Ducks getting set on first and 10. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And he's got it again. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game.
critical third down play for this offense right here. And he'll set up to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the Ducks will bring their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Longhorns come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Scanning the field. It's yours. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Now, the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly, we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for a big one. The Longhorns will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. The punt bounces and goes out of bounds, so no chance at a return here. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. A gain makes it second and medium. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Boy, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. That run picks up first down yardage. A fresh set of downs for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Launching it downfield. Grab down the middle. It's Herbert. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Offense operating at high tempo now. No huddle. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Ferguson. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Offense getting set. It's second down. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. With the catch, it's Holden. Stopped quickly at the 13, but here we are in the red zone. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. Here comes a throw from the red zone. 
He escapes the sack. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. That's another passing strike from his quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And, man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage because right now it is not working. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And it's field of the returner trying to create good field position here. And the returner will be brought down. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Jukes to get free. They'll tackle him out across the 20. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. A game makes it second and medium. They'll feed the back again. Breaking free at the 35. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Breaks the tackle to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Looking to throw. It's yours. Going for a big play downfield. The pass is intercepted. They get him down after a short return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 43. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. The sure hands. It's Stewart. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Stopped right there at the line, no gain. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, the old school way is assignment football. You have to account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. Crucial third down play right here. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. How impressive have these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. The Ducks have first and ten here. Big throw, that's an RPO caught on the left side. 
They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. This is turning into a monster day for this quarterback, Kirk. His passing yards now up over 350. Yeah, and it seems like this defense has tried everything. They're blitzing. They're sitting back in zone. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Uh, everything that they've tried is, unfortunately for them, not working because of how well this quarterback is seeing it and throwing today. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Incomplete. Second down coming up. To the air. It's Gabriel. Offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. On the junior gets home, making a sack there. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet footed as any quarterback in the country. And to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. This try is no good. Still a 17-point lead after that miss. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Makes the catch downfield. That's a big game deep into plus territory. They'll spot it near the 30. The Longhorns come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Breaks into. Got space looking to score. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Here's the point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Bringing it out, it's Whittington. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Solid run. Moves the ball out across the 20 to the 21. A game makes it second and medium.
Fastball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught near the sideline. It's Johnson. So, Kirk, as we break for the quarter, Oregon has the lead here. We've reached the end of the third. Time is running out to cut into this lead. Let's check out the game stats before we go on. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. The Ducks will send their punt team onto the field. On the return, it's Bolden. And the returner is brought down. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. He'll hand it off. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Dropping back. It's yours. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The offense will set up on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he lobs it deep down the middle. And the pass is dropped. This would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Incompletion sets up a second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football there on third down. Well, I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. And the defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. A booming kick. It's good from 59 yards away. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away, chew on the clock. How will they call it here? And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The Ducks will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up.
grab behind the line. It's Stewart. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. Well, a lot of times you match up a wide receiver, you get a linebacker on him. You'd like to think that the wide receiver can shake him. But this linebacker is really athletic and is able to make plays in space. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he's going to fling it deep. Going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great flip to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area expecting the pass. The ball's in the air. Ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play. And the ball hits the ground for an incompletion. Looking to throw it on third and very long. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, another sack. You know, as the offensive coordinator, you're ahead in this game. Maybe you should change the game plan to help your quarterback a bit. This pass rush has gotten home way too many times, and you should focus more on preserving the lead. And the Ducks will line up to kick it away. That's his fourth point already today. It's a low punt, won't travel very far. And this one will be fair caught. The ball is knocked away from him. That ball could bounce anywhere. But a great heads-up play by the returner to be able to avoid a disastrous play and get the recovery. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Short completion there, second down coming up. Grab behind the line, it's Moore. Brought down for a loss after the completion, not what they were looking for. Interesting call here, Chris, with a screen pass in the fourth quarter late in the game. I think they're expecting the defense to get upfield on the pass rush, but give the defense all the credit recognizing it, almost really anticipating that this screen was coming, and then rallying to the ball. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Fires it to the wideout. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, They've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Longhorns come to the line in the hurry up. They call the counter run here. And the Salk were able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught behind the line. It's Moore. They make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the 28. And that completion Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Caught in the backfield. It's Moore. And he heads out of bounds, moving backwards on that play. Didn't want to take the hit. Here's the second down play. Looking to throw. It's yours. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. But now it's third down. Well, they don't connect here. 
But this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Looking for his back. Finds his man. It's blue. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. Intercepted right near the end zone. What a play. Now, this guy obviously did what he needed to do to get himself ready for this game. It's a favorable matchup. He's got a lot of confidence. He's already come up with two interceptions in this game alone. Locked in on what he needs to do to be in position and making plays for this defense. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Hey, I can understand the play call here. Backed up deep in your own territory, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. But you got to be careful of being too conservative. Because this defense right now, they're trying to get the football back. And they are selling out against this run game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Handoff here from the shotgun. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter, critical down in distances, and this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game, showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Well, anytime you can have a balanced attack, it's always going to help an offense. And, you know, the previous play, they're running the football. That puts a lot of pressure on the eyes of the linebackers and safeties. They start to think about defending the run and a great job with that play-action call to get them out of position and be able to hit that for that conversion. That's caught. It's Johnson. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Receiver makes the grab. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed, but what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. Big third down play. If they can't get the stop, they have to consider calling a timeout. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. 
defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The Ducks will have to kick it away. Running it back, it's Bolden. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. And it's just beyond the receiver's grasp. Too much on that one. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Dropping back. It's yours. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game in a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. It's a bit of a risk. With that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Drops back, looking for a fourth down conversion. Quick throw to his receiver. And it falls incomplete for a turnover on downs. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Receiver in motion now. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that previous play. He'll hand it off. Running through the tackle. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And the quarterback just takes a knee. 